GOP Representative Debbie Lasko of Arizona had shocked and confused people when she made a floor speech implying that she would shoot her own grandkids to protect her grandkids. I have five grandchildren. I would do anything, anything to protect my five grandchildren, including as a last resort, shooting them if I had to, to protect the lives of my grandchildren. Ah, uh, oops. Uh, look, here's the thing. It's a, it's a slip. I understand that. Stupid mistake. Of course, she said the wrong thing. Fair enough. Uh, because shooting your grandkids to protect your grandkids doesn't make any goddamn sense from a logical or grammatical standpoint. Still, again, we all make mistakes here. Made a big oopsie. And when you focus just on that, it's funny. Now, what's not funny is she is still talking about shooting somebody. Uh, not members of her family, but definitely other people. And then it starts getting a little dark. Okay. Uh, now, instead of, uh, of issuing a statement, because this had actually happened last month. Instead of issuing a statement, she then went on to attack people for pointing out that what she had said was insane and wrong. Here's what she uh, tweeted. It never ceases to amaze me the lengths of gun control zealots will go. They turned my speech about protecting the Second Amendment rights and my right to protect my grandchildren from violent criminals into a claim that I would harm my own grandchildren. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, but nobody's really saying that. And again, it's a mistake. She definitely didn't... Uh, I, I don't believe that she had meant to say that she was going to shoot her grandchildren. She would shoot somebody, and that's already bad enough. Okay, um, but here's the thing, though. When you look into it, you're not actually protecting your grandchildren by promoting more guns. So that's a problem, right? What, what she's actually doing is putting them in more actual danger because more guns equals more gun deaths. And for children specifically, it is the number one cause of death. It, it kills more young people than car accidents. It's overtaken them. Uh, in the sheer numbers. Uh, and ironically, most of those car uh, are accidents. A lot of those are accidents, I should say. Um, a two-year-old, for example, picks up a gun, thinks it's a toy, shoots someone else. That's about 5% uh, of those uh, deaths, right? Um, researchers at the University of Michigan have got more numbers on this, found that while firearm-related related deaths had overall increased by 13.5%, between 2019 and 2020, among children and adolescents, they surged to 30%. Holy crap. And by the way, the United States is the only country where this is an actual big problem. According to researchers at the University of San Francisco and Harvard, T.H. Chan School of Public Health, who compared the rates of firearm deaths in the U.S. to other populous high-income countries, mostly European nations where they have higher levels of gun uh, gun laws and less gun ownership. Um, children in the United States are most likely of all those nations to be killed by guns. Their most recent study, looking at data from 2015, finds the U.S. accounts for the vast majority of firearm deaths among children. Across the 29 countries in the study, the U.S. accounted for almost 97% of the firearm deaths among children four or younger, and 92% of firearm deaths for those between the ages of 5 and 14. Those are just staggeringly disastrous numbers. It is unbelievable the amount of deaths of children for a country that purports to claim so much, uh, that they care so much about children, about babies. Give me a break. And it gets worse. According to the Brady campaign to end gun violence, nearly 8,000 children and teens on average were shot, and more than 1,600 died each year between 2015 and 2019. Of those who died, 52% were murdered. 
40% died from gun suicide, and 5% were unintentionally killed through those accidents. Again, through a two-year-old picking up an unsecured weapon uh, and accidentally shooting themselves or someone else. It gets worse when it comes to suicide because according to a study published last year that looked at 134 cases of suicide among children between the ages of 5 and 11 in the U.S. between 2013 and 2017, those researchers found the guns were the second most commonly met, uh, used method of suicide. When guns were used in every case where details were available, the child obtained a firearm stored that was un, uh, or that was stored unsafely in their home. So understand what all of this means. Debbie's grandkids are more likely to die from her own guns, from her guns, that she might mistakenly leave out because she's not responsible with them than, it, than, than they are to be killed by violent, roving gangs of criminals. Okay? And right now, her policies are doing everything that they can to ensure that those criminals get unrestricted access to those weapons. No background checks, no mental health screenings, no red flag laws, no restrictions on magazine sizes, no restrictions on what kinds of weapons that they can get. What Debbie Lesko is promoting is more guns everywhere. Everywhere. So while I don't believe she actually said I would shoot my own grandchildren, what she is doing is actively putting her grandchildren in more harm. The policies that she supports puts them in every other child in this country, as well as every adult in danger of being gunned down like so many others have. 